And new federal gun safety measures that President Biden signed into law will protect victims of domestic abuse from their partners. Before this law, spouses and former spouses convicted of domestic abuse could not buy firearms. Now this change adds all partners to that list. News Force Abby Fridman joins us with more on how this will help people in our area. Abby? Yeah, Chris and Kelsey, federal laws prohibiting convicted domestic abusers from owning guns mostly applied to those married or in a legal partnership, but it left a gap in protection for those dating domestic abusers. It's what some call the boyfriend loophole. This push to close the gap in protection was first brought to light in 2013. Now, domestic violence advocates say this law is a step in the right direction. Operations Manager of Family Justice Center of Erie County, Ava Thomas, says it's monumental for protecting victims and will save thousands of lives. We screen for the presence of firearms with every single client because we know the risk involved. If there's a firearm present where there is domestic violence, there is a 500% increase in the chance of it becoming a homicide. There is a bit of a catch with this law, though. If someone is convicted of domestic violence against their partner, they'll be prohibited from owning a gun for five years. If they commit no other offenses during that time, they regain that right. But married couples who have a child together will receive a permanent life ban. Over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've discussed heavily the rise in domestic violence all around the nation, and that's no different here in our area. We'll share some of the shocking statistics coming up in our next half hour. Abby Ferdman, News 4.